Hello and welcome to the Jesus to Mankind USA Book of Truth Seminar. Our theme tonight is Grace, Mercy, and Prayer, Opening Hearts to Salvation. It is recommended to have holy water, a lit blessed candle, and Benedictine crucifix. As evil advances and mankind stumbles blindly towards God's great warning, our most blessed mother, the mother of salvation, has requested that the month of August be dedicated as a month of prayer for the salvation of souls. We are concluding this holy month with a special theme, grace, mercy, and prayer, opening hearts to salvation. For it is by God's grace that we are called, in his mercy that we are redeemed, and through prayer that we participate in his plan of salvation for all of mankind. Grace, as related to us in Holy Scripture, finds its origin in the Greek word charis, meaning favor, blessing, or kindness. By grace, God chooses to bless us rather than treat us as our sins deserve. It is his loving embrace, a supernatural gift for his beloved children. God's mercy, on the other hand, is his withholding of deserved punishment due to our sins. In his mercy, he forgives our sins and cleans us in the sacrificial blood of his only begotten son. Thus his grace blesses us and draws us to him. His mercy cleanses us in order to be worthy to stand before him. Yet what of prayer? It may be argued that God has no intrinsic need of our prayers, for he is omnipotent. And by his nature, this is true. Yet he deigns to call us to defer to his children and through grace and mercy draw us into closer union with his holy will. In this great act of his paternal love, he allows us to participate in his divine plan of salvation. Bearing the imprint of his divine nature in our very souls, we unite with him through prayer and reciprocate his love for us. Our prayers rise to him as a sweet smelling incense and his mercy descends upon us and our fellow man. St. John Vianney in a catechism on prayer confirms this idea saying, man has a noble task, that of prayer and love, to pray and to love, that is the happiness of man on earth. Prayer is nothing else than union with God when the heart is pure and united with God, it is consoled and filled with sweetness. It is dazzled by a marvelous light. In this intimate union, God and the soul are like two pieces of wax molded into one. They cannot be more separated. It is a very wonderful thing, this union of God with his insignificant creature, a happiness passing all understanding. We had deserved to be left incapable of praying, but God in his goodness has permitted us to speak to him. Our prayer is an incense that is delightful to God. St. John of the Cross added to this idea of union with God by writing, So the soul, in this union which God has ordained, joins in the work of the Trinity, not yet fully as in the life to come, but nonetheless, even now, in a real and perceptible way. Therefore, let us embrace God's gift of grace and mercy and unite with him through prayer. Let us heed his call to draw down his mercy for the salvation of all mankind. Tonight's outline is as follows. The Book of Truth and Holy Scripture. The Book of Truth Revealed. 
grace, mercy, and prayer, Holy Scripture. Grace, mercy, and prayer, the Book of Truth. Crusade prayers, the Holy Rosary, and one Book of Truth message. The Book of Truth in Holy Scripture. The Holy Word of God was written and assembled for us by God's servants through the intercession of His Holy Spirit. Holy Scripture is our guide to know God's will and to hold firm to His plan for our salvation. Scripture speaks clearly of God's plan of salvation in the end times as it prepares the world for the great day of Christ's second coming. In scripture, our Lord reveals to his servants, the prophet Daniel and St. John, his book of truth and the scroll of the seven seals to be revealed at the time of the end. Daniel 10, 20 through 21. So he said, do you know why I have come to you? Soon I will return to fight against the prince of Persia. And when I go, the prince of Greece will come. But first, I will tell you what is written in the book of truth. Daniel 12, 4. But you, Daniel, roll up and seal the words of the scroll until the time of the end. Many shall pass over and knowledge shall be manifold. Daniel 12, 8 through 10. I heard, but I did not understand. So I asked my Lord, what will the outcome of all this be? He replied, go your way, Daniel because the words are rolled up and sealed until the time of the end. Many will be cleansed, made white and purged. The wicked will persist in doing wrong. The wicked will never understand. Those who are wise will understand. Everything that was revealed to Daniel about the end times is found in the book of truth. Revelation 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head, and his face was as the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot upon the earth, and he shouted with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, seal up the things which the seven thunders have spoken and write them not. And I heard a voice from heaven again speaking to me and saying, go and take the book that is open from the hand of the angel who standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went to the angel saying unto him that he should give me the book. And he said to me, take the book and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter, but in thy mouth it shall be sweet as honey. And I took the book from the hand of the angel and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And when I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. The Book of Truth Revealed Our Heavenly Father, God the Most High, has lovingly sent his prophets throughout the ages to warn mankind, to prepare him and call him to repentance that we may inherit his kingdom. He does this once again through his final instrument, his prophet, Maria Divine Mercy. Through her, he reveals to us his great gift, the Book of Truth as given to the prophet Daniel and authored by heaven to guide and sustain us in these end times. On January 28th, 2011, Jesus spoke these words to Maria. The world, my daughter, is being given this special gift, the book of truth, to show my children what they now need to do in order to prepare for the warning the illumination of conscience, which is being given to mankind to help prepare them adequately for my second coming. 
On November 8, 2014, the Blessed Virgin Mary said to Maria, you must never reject God's attempt to bring you the truth. He, my eternal father, loves everyone, and this mission was foretold. He brings the world the secrets contained in the prophecies given to Daniel and then to his chosen disciple, John, the evangelist. The book of truth is contained in public revelation, and it is important that you do not reject this holy book. Jesus, the Lamb of God, related on Sunday, April 29, 2012, the following. The prophecy given to Daniel when he was told to seal up the book of truth until the end times, when the contents would be revealed, has now come to be. Revelations given also to John the evangelist were given only in part, but some secrets were shown to him in the scrolls of the seven seals. He was not granted the authority to disclose the contents. Instead, he was instructed to put the scroll down and eat it so that the seals could not be broken nor the contents revealed until this era. By swallowing the scrolls, a clue was given to humanity, better to eat, the truth causes fear. Our Lord gave Maria this message on December 8th, 2012. The book of truth is the word of God, given to mankind already up to now through my father's book. It reminds God's children of the truth, as so many have forgotten it. It will also reveal some of the mysteries of the end times as given to Daniel, so that all of you are prepared to enter the new paradise by your own free will. Do not reject the truth as it is now being given to you, for it would be akin to a sick man refusing treatment for an illness. Without the truth, you will be ill prepared to enter my new paradise. Our beloved Lord added this Tuesday, April 17th, 2012. My dearest beloved daughter, know that my messages given to you are for the whole world. They are being given to all religions and creeds, including those who do not believe in the existence of God, the eternal father, creator of the whole world. On March 3rd, 2014, Christ related this. My dearly beloved daughter, think of me with love in your heart, for it is only through love do I communicate to the world through the book of truth. By the command of my father, I gather all of his precious children as one with him and in him. It is love which permits this divine intervention. Our Mother of Salvation gave Maria this insight on October 25th, 2012. Many do not understand the real purpose of the messages. What they must know is that they are a gift to humanity in order to bring about conversion. They are being given to the world to draw souls into the habit of prayer and so that they participate in the holy sacraments. Our Savior gave us this special insight on August 31st, 2012. No man knows the truth of the real contents of the book of Revelation. Only God knows. Only I, the Lamb of God, have the authority to reveal what they contain. I do this now through my messenger, Maria Divine Mercy, who will convey my words, not hers, to a disbelieving world. Heed my word now, for it is being given to you to save you, to warn you, to prepare you, and to purify you. Be ready when the time comes. I come through the messages to prepare you. You do not know the day or the hour, so therefore, you must prepare your soul as if the time for me to come is in the next day. Jesus again relates the importance of this gift on April 3rd, 2013. The book of truth will also reveal to you, my beloved followers, the plan of my father to help you make the proper preparations needed to enter the new and glorious paradise on earth. Without the book of truth, 
you, my disciples, would be like lambs being led to the slaughter. As you must know that your faith in God will be challenged and many efforts will be made to wipe out all traces of me, Jesus Christ, off the face of the earth. Note, the book of truth will guide us all through the major events that will occur in the lead up to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Jesus continues in this same message. And the book of truth is being given to the world to save the human race from certain death. It is a life-giving gift for the soul. It brings with it extraordinary graces. It brings you the truth, not only to remind you of my teachings, but to prepare you for the attacks on my church, which will, reduce, which will result in the destruction of souls. Our Heavenly Father, God the Most High, gave this stern warning on May 26, 2013. Be thankful that I, your beloved Father, give you this great gift, as you will need my direction, especially now, as the Antichrist will now be presented for the world to see. You will, through the Book of Truth, be shown how to protect your souls from the contamination he has planned to inflict upon the world. Every protection is being given to you to help save not only your own souls, but the souls of billions. Christ illuminated the heavenly nature of these messages on August 31st, 2012. No man has the ability to write such messages as these. To say that this is the case is an insult to my Father and the Holy Spirit. No man could, through human words, ignite the flame of God's love in the souls of his children like these messages can. Only God could produce such a result. Our Lord consoles us and asks us to prepare ourselves in this message given on October 11th, 2013. Today, I ask that all those who accept that I now speak to the whole world through the book of truth to prepare yourselves. Never allow my messages to cause you concern, worry, or panic. In order to prepare ourselves, our beloved Jesus requested the following on May 22nd, 2012. Take my gift, my holy word, my book of truth, and devour it. For without it, you will be like a body without a soul. When you swallow my words of wisdom, you will become whole again. When you become whole again, you will be ready to come with me into the new era of peace on earth. We now turn to our theme of grace, mercy, and prayer as revealed in Holy Scripture. Ephesians 2, verses 5 to 8. Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together in Christ, by whose grace you are saved, and hath raised us up together and has made us sit together in the heavenly places through Christ Jesus, that he might show in the ages to come the abundant riches of his grace in his bounty towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, for it is the gift of God. Second Timothy 1, verses 9 to 10. Who hath delivered us and called us by his holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the times of the world, 
but is now made manifest by the illumination of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath destroyed death and hath brought to light life and incorruption by the gospel. On mercy, Luke 1, verses 49 to 52. Because he, that is mighty, hath done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation unto generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble. 1 Peter 1, verses 3 to 5. Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy hath regenerated us unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead unto an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that cannot fade, reserved in heaven for you, who by the power of God are kept by faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Ephesians 6, verses 16 to 18. In all things taking the shield of faith, wherewith you may be able to extinguish all the fiery darts of the most wicked one, and take unto you the helmet of salvation, in the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. By all prayer and supplication, praying at all times in the spirit, and in the same watching with all instance and supplication for all the saints. 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 through 5. Prayer. I desire, therefore, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in high stations, that we may lead a quiet and a peaceful life in all piety and chastity. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator of God and man, the man Christ Jesus. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 to 15. And my people, upon whom my name is called, being converted, shall make supplications to me and seek out my face, and to do penance for their most wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. My eyes also shall be open and my ears attentive to the prayer of him that shall pray in his place. Matthews 5, 43 to 45. You have heard that it has been said, thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, do good to those that hate you and pray for them that persecute and calumniate you, that you may be the children of your father who is in heaven who maketh his son to rise upon the good and bad and reigneth upon the just and the unjust. James 5, verses 13 to 15. Is any of you sad? 
let him pray. Is he cheerful in mind? Let him sing. Is any man sick among you? Let him bring in the let him bring in the priest of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick man, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he be in sins, they shall be forgiven him. Philippians 4, 6, 7, and 9. Be nothing solicitous, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your petitions be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasseth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, these do ye, and the God of peace shall be with you. Romans 8, 26 to 28. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmity, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself asketh for us with unspeakable groanings. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what the Spirit desireth, because he asketh for the saints according to God. And we know that to them that love God, all things work together unto good, to such as according to his purpose are called to be saints. 1 John 5, 14 to 15. And this is the confidence which we have towards him, that whatsoever we shall ask according to his will, he heareth us. And we know that he heareth us whatsoever we ask. We know that we have the petitions which we request of him. John 17, 21 to 23, union with God. That they all may be one, as thou Father in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou hast given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, as we also are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and the world may know that thou hast sent me, and and has loved them as thou hast also loved me. Grace, mercy, and prayer in the book of truth. We know now that through God's grace, he lovingly embraces us. In his mercy, he cleanses us, and through prayer unites us to his holy will. He that is eternal, the very source of existence, cherishes our help, our union with him in his great plan of salvation. The Book of Truth illuminates our path in this epic work of redemption. Let us cherish heaven's words regarding the works of grace, prayer, and mercy. God's grace is being poured out over us in this holy mission to save souls. On August 27, 2012, our Lord and Savior gave us these words of assurance. My graces pour over you, my beloved followers, at this time. They are being given to you to strengthen your resolve to spread my holy word. When I give you these graces, I do so for a reason. You, my disciples, are the anchor from which all souls who wander aimlessly in confusion will draw towards. Give them copies of my messages and my crusade prayers and walk away silently. They will be touched in some way 
by my Holy Spirit. Those who will come running to you with pure joy in their hearts, begging for more, it will be these souls who will make it all worthwhile. However, it is the dark souls for whom you must pray the most, and it is because of them that I pour out my graces upon you so that you will help salvage their souls. For without your help, there is no hope for them. God's grace has drawn us to him, but it is his divine mercy that he wishes to bestow upon humanity at this most critical time. In a message of December 15th, 2012, Jesus reveals the depths of this merciful desire. You may be guilty of grave sin, including murder, abortion, violence, sexual depravity, or you may have dabbled in the occult, but don't you know that all you must do is turn to me and ask me to help you. I am an all forgiving God, ready to grant you freedom from the sins which entrap you. These sins can be banished from your life. All it takes is courage. Remember there is not one sin other than the sin of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit that I will not absolve you of. My mercy is so great that it will be given to those who ask for it. I call out to all of you who are unsure of my existence. I ask that you trust in me, your beloved Jesus. Our Heavenly Mother, the Mother of Salvation, speaks of this grace and mercy and our role in aiding God's plan of salvation. On July 4, 2012, she spoke these words to Maria. You must never be fearful of the future if you believe in my son, because he is the bread of life and you will have a wonderful new future. Whatever happens in the world, children, you must know that God, the Most High, is in command. The serpent has little power against my father. The serpent's power is only strengthened by those who fall prey to sin and the temptations he puts in their way. Children, you are now obliged out of your love for my son to help those poor souls. Only you can help them and save them because many will not be able to help themselves. You are the soldiers my son needs at this time. It will be through your love for him that he will grant graces upon lost souls when you invoke his help through your prayers. Children, you are one with my son. Your love brings him great comfort and your sacrifices and prayers will help him to bring all of humanity into the safety of his new paradise on earth. On February 8th, 2013, Christ illuminated our obligation and call to duty. You must not only follow my instructions at this time, you must take on the responsibility of helping me to salvage the souls of those who have no interest in me and who have no desire in saving their souls, redeeming themselves before me or receiving the sacraments. These lost, lukewarm souls are my greatest concern because their numbers are large and slowly 
They are drifting further and further away from me. I pine for their souls. There will be many tasks required of you in the salvation of all souls. And I, your Jesus, will show you how these are to be brought about. Love me and trust in me. For I am your teacher. And through me, you will understand the mysteries of my final divine plan. Our Lord adds to this idea of answering his call to help him save souls on August 15th, 2011. When my father sets about now to ring in the changes to prepare for my return to earth, he sees so much sin in the world that he weeps with sorrow for the inevitability of souls who will become lost to him eventually. Prayer to save those souls still alive in the world today who willingly turn away from him in pure defiance, although they know and accept his existence, can help save their souls. Continue to pray and make personal sacrifices for those souls, my daughter, for without prayer, you must fear for their future. I am relying on my followers to pray for the lost souls. The time left to convince the blind of faith to open their eyes to the truth of the existence of God the Father is short now. Coax them gently. Tell them about my crucifixion and about my eternal father and how my eternal father made the ultimate sacrifice to save his children by giving them the gift of the grace of salvation through the forgiveness of sin. Our Lord Jesus Christ shares his intense desire to win over even the most wayward sinner through our prayers in this excerpt from April 1st, 2014. It is important that my word is heard in all countries and that crusade of prayer groups are set up in every nation and especially in countries where I am not revered. I want even the most hardened of souls who have no desire to allow the Holy Spirit to touch their hearts, to listen and to hear what I say and to understand my promise. My plan of salvation is not the preserve of the most faithful. It is for everyone, including those whose blackened souls may disgust you. It was for these poor souls that I cried tears of blood in the Garden of Gethsemane. They were the souls of the bitter, the lost, the lovers of the beast, which were displayed before me by Satan. My pain for these souls is excruciating. When you bring me these poor sorrowful souls, I will bequeath to them great graces so that I can draw them into my mercy. You will bring me great comfort and joy when you do this, for then I can do anything to unite all souls anywhere. Thus, we are called to bring God's souls through prayer. This is our mission, our union and participation with the divine will. We are working with God in overcoming the forces of evil. In this message, of June 7, 2012, Jesus makes plain the gravity 
of our mission. Now unleashed in every nation, Satan's army of angels and their devoted disciples on earth are infesting God's children in every way. There are the visual signs. The crisis in my church, the Catholic Church, was created through the forces of evil, whose number one goal was to bring it to its knees. Not content with this, the forces of evil want to destroy the Holy Eucharist by defiling it. By demoralizing my church on earth, the plan by Satan was to destroy the faith of my followers. The apostasy in the world today was also planned by Satan, by tempting God's children to deny their faith. 600,000 fallen angels were released last year from the pits of hell. A further five million have now been released. The time for God's army in heaven to destroy Satan has begun. The time for my army on earth to gather arms has also begun. Time is short. We have much work to do. Prayer is the weapon. Conversion is the goal. I can only achieve the salvation of souls if my voice is heard at this time. Satan knows this. He has placed a curse over this mission and will pull many of God's children away, yet he cannot win. For no one can stop the book of truth being revealed, for it is I, Jesus Christ, who does this. As ominous as this warning may be, our Heavenly Mother stands at our side, and with her help, we will be victorious. On March 15, 2013, she spoke these words to Maria. He, my beloved son, hangs his head in agony as he watches the horror as his church crumbles before him. Please pray for hope and say my holy rosary every day for all those who rule in room. You must pray for all those who run the Catholic Church. My role as majestic of all graces is soon to be realized. And as the woman chosen to be clothed in the rays of the sun, my time has come to help my son in his final plan of salvation. Prayers will be heard in heaven, and you must never give up hope, as my son's mercy is greater than you could possibly know. Await with patience, love, and trust, for all of these trials will soon be passed. And then the new heaven and the new earth will merge as one. This is all you need concern yourselves with. The preparation of your soul and those who need your prayers the most. The power of God is beyond our comprehension. Yet in his eternal wisdom, he allows our frail nature to unite with his in this battle. We may feel outmatched and overwhelmed, yet Christ is our strength. 
In a message of the 1st of November 25th, 2012, he said the following, never feel disillusioned, never feel alone. I have joined all of you together through this and other missions. In time, all those who follow the instructions I give through all genuine prophets and visionaries will help salvage the souls of billions. Even 20 million of you, through your perseverance, trials, sufferings, and prayers, can save most of humanity. This is my promise to you. Pray, pray, pray for all of your brothers and sisters. For united, we will all become part of my new kingdom, and all will be well. It will be no easy feat, but the power and graces which I will accord to this mission will ensure that the holy will of my Father can be completed in the way that it must be. Our Lord emboldens us with his reassurance in a message given on July 27th, 2012. Your dedication to me, your beloved Jesus, brings me so much comfort and joy, for your prayers are saving millions and millions of souls every second of each day. Were you to witness their gratitude, you would never cease to continue to pray. Such is his power. Satan is suffering because of this mission, and he will do everything possible to sabotage it. It is vital that you overcome all obstacles to get aid to the victims. One hour's delay can mean the difference between life and death. Our Heavenly Mother also assures us of her grace and support in this cause. On September 14th, 2013, she gave us the following message. My duty is to offer as many sinners as possible the chance to save their souls. I do this through the apparitions which are witnessed when I appear in order to ignite the faith of sinners everywhere. I now do this by providing the medal of salvation. My child, as I have said, this medal must be made available to the world through you and based on my instructions to you. These medals will convert all souls who are open to the mercy of my son, Jesus Christ. This will then result in the salvation of millions. In addition to the power of the medal of salvation, our Lord and Savior recalls the unfathomable nature of our principal weapon in this mission. On September 17th, 2013, he spoke the following. Prayer is your weapon. Prayer will provide you with the armor that you need to defeat the evil one. Prayer will dilute the impact of war. Suffering and every kind of persecution inflicted upon the human race by the enemies of God. Prayer will save you and all those for whom you pray. Your prayers will destroy evil. And when the great day comes, you will cry tears of joy when you witness the new generation, those billions of people who have been salvaged because of your response to my call. Jesus continues in the same message. My father's plan is unknown to most of you. What you need to understand is this. His plan will destroy his enemies. By allowing all of these trials to take place, he will free the human race at last from its bondage to sin. As his children, our cooperation with God's divine will is essential to the accomplishment of his plan of salvation. Our union with God through prayer allows his every power, grace, and mercy to be drawn down upon our fellow man. Our final book of truth excerpt is a commanding reminder from Christ. Given on December 1st, 2012, our Lord reinforces the power of being united to the divine will. My living church on earth, comprised of all my followers, needs to help me to salvage every single soul. Without all of God's family, it will be a painful reunion for just one soul to be lost to me. We are one, 
all of God's children. Bring me through your prayers, the souls of those among you, including those who will not accept the existence of God and those who are embroiled in such sinful lives that they cannot find an easy escape. Then bring me the souls of those deluded sinners who fall into every trap laid down before them by the evil one. Where there is a will on the part of my disciples to help salvage souls, I will multiply those souls 1,000 times. This I promise you. Your efforts will not go to waste. Every scrap of your suffering, which you endure in my name, offered to me willingly, will be used to salvage most of humanity. Love your family as I love you. Love your brothers and sisters as you would in your own family, and I will shower you with graces. Love your enemies and prove it by praying for them, and I will salvage their souls. Lord Jesus. Thus, we can see clearly that by his grace, we are called and embraced. By his mercy, we are cleansed and purified. Yet it is in prayer that we are brought into union with the work of the Holy Trinity. We must embrace this truth and respond to our Lord's call. Heaven desires and needs our help. Let us willingly respond and consider the great mystery of our union with God through prayer in his plan of salvation. The Crusade of Prayer. The blessing. We begin with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Invocation of the Saints. Mother of Salvation. Pray for us. Saints Peter and Paul. Pray for us. Saint John Vianney. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Thomas Aquinas. Pray for us. We ask all the holy angels, archangels, saints, martyrs, and holy ones of God in heaven above to join us in these prayers and act as intercessors for us and our families. Amen. Let us begin by asking for Christ's forgiveness. Jesus, forgive me, for I have sinned. Jesus, deliver us, helpless sinners from your enemies. Crusade prayer, prayer 96, to bless and protect our crusade prayer group. Oh, my dearest Jesus, Please bless and protect us, your crusade prayer group, so that we become immune to the wicked assaults of the devil and to any evil spirits which may torment us in this sacred mission to save souls. May we remain loyal and strong as we persevere to keep your holy name before the world and never waver in our struggle to spread the truth of your holy word. Amen. Prayer for Maria Divine Mercy. O glorious Father in heaven, hear our plea and our cry to you this day and every day. Bless the prophet you have so lovingly sent to us to give us your words, your warning of mercy, your love. Grace her in abundance with the seven gifts of your Holy Spirit so she may fulfill all that has been told and asked of her. She is but one amongst billions whom you have chosen to help us achieve our rightful inheritance, either to the fullness of your grace and the fulfillment of your holy scripture. Through the precious blood your son shed, we ask you, almighty eternal Father, 
to bless her and strengthen her until all is complete. Amen. Crusade Prayer 33, the seal of the living God. O oh my God, my loving Father, I accept with love and gratitude your divine seal of protection. Your divinity encompasses my body and soul for eternity. I bow in humble thanksgiving and offer my deep love and loyalty to you, my beloved Father. I beg you to protect me and my loved ones with this special seal. And I pledge my life to your service forever and ever. I love you, dear Father. I console you in these times, dear Father. I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son in atonement for the sins of the world and for the salvation of all your children. Amen. Prayer for each day. O oh, my precious Jesus, embrace me in your arms and allow my head to rest upon your shoulders so that you can raise me up to your glorious kingdom when the time is right. Allow your precious blood to flow over my heart that we can be united as one. Amen. Prayer for the key to the new paradise. Dear Father, it is I, your lost child, who so confused and blind that without your help, your love, I am nothing. Save me through the love of your Son, Jesus Christ, and give me the key to your new paradise on earth. Amen. Prayer to mitigate the circumstances of persecution, which is being perpetrated behind closed doors. God the Father, in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, I beg of you to stop this abomination to control your children. Please protect all your children in these terrible times so that we may find peace and dignity to live our lives free from the evil one. Amen. Prayer for the blind souls who are lost. God the Most High, I come before your throne this week to plead for the souls of my brothers and sisters who refuse to acknowledge your existence. I urge you to fill them with your graces so that they will open their hearts and listen to your most holy word. Amen. Theme Crusade Prayers. Litany Prayer 2, for the grace of immunity. O Heavenly Father, Most High, I love you. I honor you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive us our trespasses. I adore you. I praise you. I give you thanks for all your special graces. I beg you for the grace of immunity for my beloved. I offer you my loyalty at all times. You, O oh most heavenly Father, creator of all things, creator of the universe, creator of humanity, you are the source of all things. You are the source of love. You are love. I love you. I honor you. I lay myself before you. I beg for mercy for all souls who don't know you, who don't honor you, who reject your hand of mercy. I give myself to you in mind, body, and soul so that you can take them into your arm safe from evil. I ask you to open the gate of paradise so that all your children can unite at last in the inheritance you have created for all of us. Amen. Litany Prayer 5 For the salvation of those in mortal sin. Jesus, save all sinners from the fires of hell. Forgive blackened souls. Help them to see you. Lift them out of darkness. Open their eyes. Open their hearts. Show them the truth. Save them. Help them to listen. Rid them of pride, lust, and envy. Protect them from evil. Hear their pleas for help. Grasp their hands. Pull them towards you. Save them from the deception of Satan. Amen. My dearest Crusade Prayer 1, my gift to Jesus to save souls. My dearest Jesus, 
you who loves us so much, allow me in my humble way to help save your precious souls. Have mercy on all sinners, no matter how grievously they offend you. Allow me through prayer and suffering to help those souls who may not survive the warning to seek a place beside you in your kingdom. Hear my prayer, O sweet Jesus, to help you win over those souls you yearn for. O sacred heart of Jesus, I pledge my allegiance to your most holy will at all times. Amen. Crusade Prayer 13. O Heavenly Father, through the love of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whose passion on the cross saved us from sin, please save all those who still reject his hand of mercy. Blood their souls, dear Father, with your token of love. I plead with you, Heavenly Father, hear my prayer and save these souls from eternal damnation. Through your mercy, allow them to be the first to enter the new era of peace on earth. Amen. Crusade Prayer 64. Save my brothers and sisters. O oh, my dearest Savior Jesus Christ, accept my gift of prayer and sacrifices to help save my brothers and sisters from the prison of darkness they are in. Allow me to help salvage their souls. I beg you to forgive them for their sins, and I ask that you flood their souls with the Holy Spirit so that they will run into your arms as the refuge they so desperately need before they are lost forever. I offer you my gift of surrender for such souls in humble servitude and thanksgiving. Amen. Crusade Prayer 85 to save the United States of America from the hand of the deceiver. Oh, dear Jesus, cover our nation with your most precious protection. Forgive us our sins against God's commandments. Help the American people to turn back to God. Open their minds to the true path of the Lord. Unlock their hardened hearts so that they will welcome your hand of mercy. Help this nation to stand up against the blasphemies which may be inflicted upon us to force us to deny your presence. We beseech you, Jesus, to save us, protect us from all harm, and embrace our people in your sacred heart. Amen. Crusade Prayer 105, Gift of Conversion for Others. Oh, my dearest Jesus, with my love for you, please accept my soul in unison with you. Take my soul, cover it with your Holy Spirit, and help me, through this prayer, save all those I come into contact with. Engulf every soul I meet with your holy mercy, and offer them the salvation needed to enter your kingdom. Hear my prayers, listen to my pleas, and through your mercy, salvage the souls of the whole of humanity. Amen. Crusade Prayer 112, for the grace of salvation. Dearest Jesus, I call on you to cover the souls of those who have been fested by Satan with your special grace of salvation. Free their poor souls from the wicked captivity from which they cannot escape. Amen. Crusade Prayer 128, to gather and unite all souls. Dearest Jesus, help us, your beloved disciples, to gather the world in your arms and present to you the souls who are in most need of your great mercy. Empower us with the gift of the Holy Spirit to ensure that the flame of truth engulfs all those who have become separated from you. Unite all sinners so that each is given every chance of reconciliation. Give all of us the strength to remain firm to your holy word when we are forced to reject the truth which has been proclaimed to the world through the most holy gospels. We remain in you, with you, and for you, 
every single step of this, our journey to salvation. Amen. Crusade Prayer 169 for the salvation of those who reject Christ. Dearest Jesus, by your compassion and mercy, I beg you for the salvation of those who have rejected you, who deny your existence, who deliberately oppose your holy word, and whose bitter hearts have poisoned their souls against the light and truth of your divinity. Have mercy on all sinners. Forgive those who blaspheme against the Holy Trinity and help me in my own way and through my personal sacrifices to embrace within your loving arms those sinners who need your mercy the most. I give you my promise that through my thoughts, my actions and the spoken word to serve you as best I can in your mission of salvation. Amen. The Holy Rosary. Queen of the Holy Rosary, thou didst deign to come to Fatima to reveal to the three shepherd children the treasures of grace hidden in the rosary. Inspire my heart with a sincere love of this devotion in order that by meditating on the mysteries of our redemption, which are recalled in it, I may be enriched by its fruits and obtain peace for the world, the conversion of sinners and of Russia, and the graces which I ask of thee in this rosary. We pray for the salvation of souls and the conversion of sinners. We pray for all countries around the world suffering from war and persecution, particularly the people of Ukraine, that they will be granted the grace of peace and protection from every form of persecution. We pray that we all are protected against war, persecution, and any form of global control perpetrated by Satan and his minions. For the triumph of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the mother of salvation. For the protection and growth of everyone in the mission, including the crusade prayer groups. We pray that all priests and religious may receive the gifts of enlightenment, wisdom, and humility, so they can recognize and accept the book of truth as coming from God. For the protection of Maria Divine Mercy and the mission of salvation. We pray for priests and religious to remain loyal to the teachings of Jesus Christ. We pray that God protect and heal all children from physical, spiritual, and psychological violence or illness. Let us pause now to offer our own personal intentions. We ask this for the greater glory of God, for thine own honor, and for the good of souls, especially for my own. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all, souls to, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. 
Mother of Salvation. Pray for us. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord, fruit of the mystery, hope and desire for heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Amen. Mother of salvation. Pray for us. The fourth mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit, for the virtues of wisdom and love of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, 
Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, may Jesus forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls into heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Mother of salvation. Pray for us. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Fruit of the mystery, devotion to our heavenly mother, Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have greatest need of thy mercy. Amen. Mother of Salvation, pray for us. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. Fruit of the mystery is eternal happiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit 
of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O oh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, Forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Mother of salvation, pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O holy mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorari, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, then never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Pray to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayers. For the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Crusade Prayer 96 To bless and protect our Crusade Prayer Group O oh, my dearest Jesus, please bless and protect us 
your crusade prayer group so that we become immune to the wicked assaults of the devil and to any evil spirits which may torment us in this sacred mission to save souls. May we remain loyal and strong as we persevere to keep your holy name before the world and never waver in our struggle to spread the truth of your holy word. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with you. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the blessings of the Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Book of Truth Messages My followers have been given the gift of intercession. August 12, 2011. My beloved daughter, the love of my followers keeps me sustained. I cry tears of joy when I witness the love of those of my followers who surround you and embrace you with their prayers. They, my daughter, through the gift of the Holy Spirit, have been called to proclaim my most holy word through the world, through these important messages. If only those other souls who follow me and who know that I am communicating through various visionaries would open their eyes and listen to what I have to say, then their prayers would benefit those poor souls who have not prepared for the warning. My love shines through my loyal children throughout the world. The light of my love, which shines through them, is creating much conversion in the world right now. This month, although my children may not be aware, millions of souls are now being saved because of the devotion of my beloved followers. They, my precious children, followed my command for prayer and devotion during this August Salvation of Souls Month. Tell my children that their prayer and fasting has created much happiness in my father's tender heart. An abundance of graces now flow over those dear holy souls so that they are empowered with the gift of interceding for lost souls from this day forth. How I yearn to hold each of them in my arms, close to my sacred heart, so that I can show them how much I love them all. So brave, so loyal, Despite sinful diversions from time to time, so good. Their hearts and souls are now infused with my compassion, and the Holy Spirit will guide my precious army as they march to victory to help me claim more souls. Your beloved, loyal Savior, King of mankind, Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us tonight for this USA Book of Truth seminar. Please join us for our daily crusade prayers on Zoom. For more information, you can email us at jtm.usa at protonmail.com. The time for our crusade prayers on Zoom, the link is underneath it. this uh, website is at Father of Love and Mercy dot wordpress.com and please sign up at the jtm global website here you can receive prayer group notifications from the jesus to mankind website at https colon backslash backslash jtm global dot network and our main mission site is at father of love and mercy dot wordpress dot com and for your books, seals, medals, and scapulars, please email us at this time at jtm.usa at protonmail.com. Also, please subscribe to our official Jesus to Mankind global YouTube channel. And just one announcement, September 3rd, we will have a global crusade of prayers and the theme is unification in this mission. 
that meeting will be at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for joining tonight. God bless your evening.